This is WNBC TV Channel 4 New York. You watch NBC for the Tri-States News Channel. And now, Chuck's book cover, Sue Simmons, Jenna's Up and Weather, and Len Berman Sports. This is News Channel 4 at 6. Good evening, everybody, on this Tuesday, February 16, 1999. I'm Chuck Garber, alongside Sue Simmons and News. What's happening? Top story at 6 p.m. is in Concord, Guinea, where the Prime Minister of the small West African nation joined an array of government officials, family, and friends on the Swelton Airport tarmac to welcome Amanudo Diallo's parents as they arrived from the United States today to find yesterday that their son in depth had attained the status of national hero. Like many of our people, he had left to go in every country and worked hard and studied hard, said Prime Minister Sadaya Torres, speaking from Mr. Dayal, the Guardian Street battle who was shot to death by four New York City police officers on February 4th. But he is a Guinean, one of ours, our ways, and it's natural that we show solidarity with him because that's the way he died. Mr. Dial's coffin and plain pine box with his name and destination within and felt tip pen on the top. Removed from the plane that brought it from the Newark International Airport brought Paris to concrete at the capital. It was driven in a screeching motorcade of air conditioned government vans and battered private cars that sped along a rutted road lined with fruit vendors and smoking grills to the city morgue. A two hour rally outside the Morgans, then a government sponsored birth. Service Minister Day House scheduled it Tuesday on Wednesday. The family and numerous government officials are taking the coffin 300 miles to Halad. Borough, the village where Mr. Dayal's father was born. The father, Seku Dayal, said that as a teenager, his son had spent school vacation in the village. The son who will be buried next to his grandfather was a teacher and scholar of the Quran. The presence of many of the country's top